Hi, this is Tom Stewart with Cleaning Business Today. In our last KPI tip, we showed how to generate this spreadsheet, which calculates the lead performance from our various marketing activities. We take our performance and put it in terms of the percentage of leads we generate per 100 marketing units. In this KPI tip, we're going to show how to take the leads that we generate and calculate the actual number of clients that we generate off of them. We take the conversion rate per 100 and put it in this column and we're just going to make up some numbers here saying we do like 500 door hangers, a thousand direct mail pieces, so on and so forth. And You take the conversion per 100, multiply it times the quantity and it gives you a number of leads. In this case, for a given month, we're generating a little over 20 leads. Now, not every lead is going to turn into a regular reoccurring client. So what we want to do is be tracking within our business the bulk rate we get from each step of the lead conversion process. Say when we get a lead, maybe 20% of them never get a quote. We aren't able to reach them, get a hold of them, get them to respond. So we plug a point two in there and our 20 leads drops down to 16. Out of the 16 remaining leads, say we sell half of them. So I'm going to plug in 0.5 there and it takes the 16 and knocks it down to 8. And out of the 8 that we convert into some type of sale, say half of those, or 0.5, turn into regular recurring customers, or 4. So if we advertise in these quantities with these uh, conversion rates on the uh, lead generation side, we get 20 leads. And once we get our 20 leads, we then go ahead and plug in the conversion rates from leads to clients in a spreadsheet like this that allows us to calculate and predict the number of clients we would get at the end of any given month based on the advertising activity that we would invest in at the beginning of the month. I hope you find this KPI tip helpful. Thank you for watching Cleaning Business Today.